you're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Hey guys, Rochambeau here. Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? All right, guys. How's it going? My first chance to kind of stop and say hi and, and uh, check in with everybody. Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. It's a new game series. Um, I have played this game once before. I played it on Twitch, however, not for YouTube. So I, I kind of wanted to play this game and just kind of focus on the game without worrying about the live, the live part. So uh, I'm playing it for YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for hanging out. There's nothing new here. This game's out. This game's been out for a long time. But I'm just playing it for my own satisfaction, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Let's do it. I'm going to just choose everything default. That's kind of what I usually do for a YouTube video. If I do a, like a New Game Plus or something, then it'll be a specific walkthrough for a New Game Plus, like uh, I think I did Arkham City New Game Plus. So, yes, just well, yes. I got most of it right anyway. <laughs> Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Okay, I kind of don't remember what exactly so this is for. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence. Let's go intelligence. We'll go agility. Is there strength? Or strength? One seven on strength. One remaining. How about let's go endurance? These will we'll upgrade these as we go. So. <coughs> yeah, that's a pretty standard score there. But <laughs> after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. All right. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions, see if your dogs are still barking. All right, I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Okay, so these, I think I'm just going to choose the first one for Mouse. everything. Night. Enemy. Light. Mother. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. Okay, so for all of these, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do no opinion. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay. How about this one? Last one. Well, that's all she wrote. All right. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. <clears throat> Name? 
melee weapons gives me a lot, huh? I mean, I can't change it, so... Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Up to two traits. Built to destroy. Ooh, negative. Loose cannon. Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre. Okay, we're we're definitely doing Wild Wasteland. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. I think I chose it. I think I pressed X. It it said two points. I don't know what happened. Do I have any? Do, do, does he have clothes? He's supposed to give me or anything? me some clothes or not. Flashlight. Standing here in my underwear, of course I got no flashlight. Is that an ammo crate? Uh, paperweight. Still rhymes. Yeah, dude, but you're not gonna give me them to wear, man? That ain't cool. Alright. Oh, there was a dresser. Oh, it's empty. Let's go. Is there another room? No. We're out of here. Okay. I guess there's... I think you might hand it to us right now. I don't know. Here. These are yours. <laughs> oh, there they are. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go no. Alright, welcome to Good Springs. It's been a while, guys. Woo! Quest complete. Ain't that a kick in the head. Let's do a quick game save. Boom. Alright guys, look at this. Welcome to the Fallout New Vegas universe. I actually kind of live in this area. I mean, I don't live in Vegas, but I live in Southern California. And uh, the freeway you take when it's, it brings up the 15 freeway, that goes kind of right by my house. It's hilarious. <coughs> Alright, let's get on over to... The saloon.
Hey, is this Victor? Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. <laughs> Happy trails to you. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Don't get me wrong, the NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. The machine? Harmless, no matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something, but I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. All right, easy peep. Have a good day. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. All right, guys, immediately lost. This is how this game works for most games. As soon as they tell me to go somewhere, I turn around and walk in the exact opposite direction. 
And this this map does not help in New Vegas. Which way are you going? going? This way? Yes, you are. Where are you at? You're right here. I'm just going to stick right next to her so I don't get lost. Game looks great, guys. I was really impressed the first time I played this. I had never played a game like now, this. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Come on. Oh, one thing is I'm playing with a controller that's a little bit wanky, so it's hard to um the joystick doesn't center itself it kind of does that thing where it floats you know so I gotta buy a new controller I'm just kind of too lazy to oops Try crouching down and staying still it'll help your aim nice shot well that's a start but I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles tell you what I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway darn critters are attracted to it why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. All right, let's follow Sunny. She's fast. This town looks cool. Oh, this way, this way, don't get lost, don't get lost. What are you, what are you stopping for? Stop stopping. <laughs> Here we go, I think we're up here. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. What is that? Speaker noise. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Where? Oh, I see. Okay. Here they come. P. Okay, got one. Where's the other guy? Right here. He's quick. Plus one. Jeez, this is not worth it at all. Okay, did she bail? See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Let's Shouldn't do take it. more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Okay. Lead the way. Don't go too fast. I don't want to get lost again. The first time I ever played this game, she's like, uh, follow me to the gecko the first one this one right here and I just immediately got lost and it took me two hours I ended up doing a bunch of side missions before I even got back to finding her and then I found her again I was like oh I for completely forgot more. 
This way? What are we doing? Oh, it's a lady. Get him off. I was like, why are they all just kind of crowded in that corner? Oh, she all Holy jacked moly. up. Holy If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. And <laughs> she walks away all jacked up. Okay, let's go talk to Sunny. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right, then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right. Here we are, guys. Fallout New Vegas, a brand new Fallout game. Not a new, brand new Fallout game, but a new uh, game series for the channel. Welcome. I hope you enjoy it. I just finished doing like a 77 video run, uh, like a completion run for Fallout 3. I didn't mean to do a completion run. It just ended up that way. So uh, you can check that out <coughs> if you so desire. But we're going to play New Vegas, guys. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I thought I'd be all Fallout outed, but um, I'm a little pumped to play this game. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great day.